Ah, uh, chilling. Um, have you considered the fact that recovery is part of training, not separate from training? You know, a lot of people think when you're resting, when you're when you're just chilling, sleeping, uh, having a rest day, even it's it's a break from training. It's 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 not training. But the truth is that recovery is part of training, right? It is actually an essential part of training. You you go out and you run or you lift weights or you do whatever you do and that breaks down the body and then afterwards you're actually less fit than when you started and you now need to rest eat and recover and that recovery process will now build you up to a higher level of fitness and that is training so recovery is a key component and here's the thing a lot of people they're very good at scheduling training sessions, right? Very good at just like, I'm gonna do a run on that day, I'm gonna do a strength training session on that day, I'm training this time and that time, and etc, etc, etc. They're great at scheduling in their training. But what about recovery? Most people do their training, very focused, and then afterwards they don't really think too much about their recovery maybe. They maybe go out with some friends, hang out, socialize, maybe do some work, work in the garden, I don't know. And that actually might not be ideal for your recovery process. So I'm urging you, I'm urging all of you guys here on this channel to consider recovery as part of training. And when you schedule in training sessions, go ahead and schedule in your recovery sessions as well. So for example, if you're having if you're just going for a very easy run, sure, you don't really have to, you know, focus on your recovery that much. But if you're out for a hard session one day or if you're out for a long run maybe, that afternoon or that evening after your long run should really be blocked off. This is recovery time. You need to schedule in recovery time at this point. You need to eat. You need to digest. And then you need to rest and then you need to sleep and it sounds so easy but here's the thing your nervous system works in such a way that it has two branches the autonomic nervous system it's the parasympathetic and the sympathetic branch and the sympathetic branch is the fight or flight response the one that you know activates you and that's one active when you're training etc the parasympathetic one is the one sort of rest and digest it's the one that's active when you're sleeping and resting and that's the one that promotes healing and recovery so if you, for example, right now, making this video, that this puts me in a sympathetic uh, nervous system sort of state. Meaning that right now, in my body right now, the recovery processes aren't really optimal. Uh, uh, if I really want optimal recovery processes, I need to sort of shut off and relax. I need to really, uh, I need to really chill out professional style, you know? So that goes for socializing as well. Socializing is nice, important part of life, uh, important part of a healthy life. But after a hard session, if you socialize for the evening, let's say you hang out with some friends in the evening after your long run, well, the truth is that that sort of setting puts you into a more sort of activated state, a more sympathetic state, nervous system wise. And that's not really ideal because it's as I said it's the parasympathetic uh, mode that promotes healing that's where some of those processes those anabolic processes of building yourself up the body is building its itself up repairing muscle fibers uh, recovering in terms of your endocrine system etc that's what you want when you're in that fight or flight response even though it's a cozy and nice situation with your friends you're still in an active turned on sort of setting uh, which essentially turns on catabolic processes in your body breaks down stuff uh, and you put your hormone system into a state where recovery is not optimal I think you get the idea so here's the here's the summary okay recovery is part of training and if you're good, really good and serious about your training and you're scheduling sessions every week you want to have a little bit of think about scheduling in recovery sessions as well okay especially on those hard days so what I do is that I consider after a hard session the rest of the day I'm chilling okay I'm chilling I'm not meeting with friends I'm not watching 
scary or thriller movie. I'm watching easy stuff on the computer. I'm relaxing, I'm eating, I'm chilling, I'm going to bed, I'm sleeping, right? Uh, and on those other days of my life where training is not so serious and I'm just having an easy day, uh, that's when I maybe be able to go and hang out with some friends or just do something other than just relaxing. But bear in mind that between hard sessions, so if I have a hard session on Tuesday and then I have another hard session on Thursday, Wednesday need to be an easy day because I'm, I need to recover for my next session. So in that situation, I might, not, I might actually consider the whole day on Wednesday a super easy day. And I schedule it in. I say, you know, maybe if something comes up like, oh, maybe I need to fix something on the house or, or do some cleaning or whatever. I go like, nope, not happening. Wednesday, I'm chilling out. It's on my plan. It's a chill day. So something to consider for sure. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already and let me know in the comments. Do you schedule in recovery? Have you considered this in your training so far? And if you haven't, have you noticed any effects of you know those days where you're doing too much? Have you noticed how it affects your recovery and your sleep and how your performance goes next the next day? Well, I've noticed it, that's for sure. I noticed that when I invest in recovery, my performance is really top-notch the next day whereas when I'm stressing out doing all kinds of stuff one day next day I'm typically I'm tired I'm recovering from the last day right so you gotta you gotta set your priorities right be sure to check out some of our other videos I'll put a link to a cool one here or there or somewhere hope you're having an awesome day see you around <laughs>